Hello, friends. We got another old vintage comparison for you guys. We got French Ultramarine, Windsor and Newton from roughly the 50s. Yeah, probably the 50s. Um, when it doesn't say Rathbone Place on it, it means 50s, possibly early 60s. There's a whole conversation about that. I got some modern-ish French Ultramarine. This is maybe six, seven years old? Not sure? Yeah. Um, and just before we get into this, a note. This was originally supposed to be an Umber video, but I did a little bit of a fucky wucky, and I even screw and I squeezed the aluminum a little too tight. Don't do that. Old aluminum is extremely fragile, and if you press a little bit too tight trying to get this old little dented little cap off, it will explode, and then you'll have a single use of oil paint, and then it's done forever. So don't do that. Don't be me. Don't try to get raw umber out by squeezing very tightly. But yes, we got some French Ultramarine, and we got the modern French Ultramarine, and we'll see how close they are. This is not the original cap. Um, yeah. So we got a little bit of blue. Little bit of blue. It's not coming out, because this is an old tube. That's as good as that's going to get. That's as far as we're going to get out of this itty-bitty tiny old tube. They made some really, really weird sizes back in the day. This is probably intended for plain air, because look how small it is compared to the big, big guys. Um, yeah. So we're going to have to be really conservative with this blue. And we got some titanium white. I don't think it matters what brand titanium white we use for these things, just like... We got a blooch. Yes, we're just gonna put a little bit on. Yeah, that'll do. Whee. Good old ultimate. Now we clean that off with a little bit of toilet paper. I got some paint on my gloves. Garbage noises. Okay, now we got the modern ultramarine that I got apparently on clearance from somewhere at some point. Yeah. This, of course, is the modern Windsor and Newton, which is not made in England but is made in France. And I constantly say that the ones made in France are not as good as the ones that used to be made in England. Because look at that. That is a slightly different shade of blue. That is a slightly different shade of blue. There's probably some formula changes over the past yeah, 60, 70 odd years. I can math. Um, that was too much white, but that's okay. I probably should have just scooped from the first one. Because that's, maybe I need a little bit more attention to Yeah, that evens it out. Slightly different shade. But you know what? It got close enough. It's a slightly different shade from the original. This is a short video. We haven't even hit five minutes yet. Um, this is a slightly different shade. But you know what? What I want to say is that modern ultramarine is much closer to King's Blue Light um, than old ultramarine. French ultramarine. Um, I probably should have gotten the non-French ultramarine blue on this, but whatever. This is what we're doing here. Um... So, yeah, it is slightly different, but that being said, I couldn't get a lot out because of these tiny, itty bitty tubes. Um, but let us do a smoosh. You got a smoosh. We are gonna make a smoosh. Let's just do that. Because I don't want to waste any more paint. Do -do -do -do. Do -do -do -do. At this point, you can probably just like. Hey. What I do with these things is that I make a little smoosh, get some good impasto going, and then I paint something over, over, over it. So we got some. Maybe I'll do like a little sky scene with this. At some point, I don't know. Maybe I'll figure something out with that. But I want some length to this video that isn't just 
five minutes of me doing nothing, he got a smoosh. He got some vintage blue. And he got, yeah, he got some good impostors going on. I'm not wasting no antique paint, but I smudged it in there. Yeah, I'll paint something over that, and we'll get something good. But I want to show you guys noises. What I did with the last smoosh. I painted a little house. Yes, I know there's no reflection in the water. I'll fix that at some point. But yes, a little house with some little trees. of silence and little ducks i am not the world's best painter but i painted some extremely tiny ducks and i'm proud of myself so yes got some little ducks here got some little ducks here and we got a tiny smushy house with the impostors so yes thank you guys for watching we'll have another little close-up of the of the blues yeah I am slowly learning how to edit videos. Last week there was no video because I have an eight-year-old computer and I should probably get a new one and editing videos was not going well. So yeah, <laughs> I'm slowly figuring out how to do this YouTube thing. Thank you for watching. I hope I was even moderately helpful. Goodbye.